everybody and Jess here key tarot welcome welcome to you all this is gonna be a real quick general reading I don't know who it will be for or what it will be about most definitely it will be for one of you all right let's say blessing we'll find out Holy Spirit thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them amen Alrighty, I'm gonna start with this um, artist's inner vision tarot Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, so the first card out was the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And that typically indicates someone who is quite unhappy. Usually it's an unhappy feminine energy. I have the King of Swords in the upright out here right next to it with the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant in the reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles on its side. Somebody here is saying, wait, wait, wait. Somebody here is trying to decide. Oh, somebody's upset. Golly. Somebody here has said, um, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to commit to this anymore. I also have the King of Wands there. So I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the table right now. Not that it matters. This, this. All right, I know I, I have to do this. I'm going to divide it up into masculine and feminine energies here. Because I've got on one side, I have this King of Wands, King of Swords energy. And then on the other hand, I've got this Queen of Swords in the reverse. So... This masculine energy is deciding they want to do something different. And this can be in your love life. This can be in a marriage. This can be in a partnership. Or this can be in your work life. Or even just in a platonic friendship, right? Somebody here says, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to commit to this. Um, I've, I'm thinking I want to be on my own. I want to go my own way. And I want to start over from the beginning. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they are quite upset. There's a lot of money here involved. Possibly now legal paperwork. Possibly... Um, separation energy it feels like this is happening right now during Sagittarius season we've got a lot of walls and boundaries up around someone here because they don't want this information getting out I've got the Queen of Wands over here on this side that's Aries Leo Sagittarius feminine energy this um King of Swords King of Wands has had to make a decision and I think it's been a hard decision for them to make and I think they finally come to the conclusion that they want to go in a different direction I've been really conflicted about this, honestly, but they're, <laughs> but they're ready to dive right back in, ready to dive into something different. They've finally seen what they needed to see. So the Queen of Swords in the reverse, that can indicate a divorced feminine energy, or it can indicate an, a feminine energy that's very angry and struggling to control the things that they say, struggling to control the choices of words that they're using or even not thinking things through. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This Queen of Swords in the reverse, either they gave up a long time ago and they stopped trying in this dynamic or they've been trying and trying and trying to get whatever this situation or relationship is back on track. One or the other. There's a lot of anxiety and stress and worry here now. And there could be arguing like throughout the night. Darn it. So when I picked up this deck, the Empress was on the bottom of the deck, but I just shuffled it in. And I picked up this one and the Empress is on the bottom of the deck. And now I've got this Four of Wands over here that I just left it on. So this does feel divine counterparty, it surely does. So the Empress is divine feminine energy. That Four of Wands can sometimes indicate um, um, a twin flame counterpart, a divine counterpart, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it can indicate um, creating stability. It feels like whoever this King of Wands, King of Swords energy is, they want to move towards this Queen of Wands. And you guys know this is not about your zodiac sign, right? I just split it to the Ten of Swords again. Um, it's and the Eight of Pentacles again. Hmm. 
that Queen of Swords in the reverse is almost insistent on working through this. Let's go to counseling, let's do this, let's do that. They might not be saying it in the best way. They might be demanding it. They might be very demanding right now. Um, this is someone who's like hell bent on driving whatever this is forward. Possibly threatening someone's reputation. And again, with the temperance energy, that Sagittarius energy. Um, so I've got, let's see here. Um, all right, who is this Queen of Swords? Let me just give this a shuffle and let me, let me get, yeah, this Queen of Swords. I've also got the Queen of Cups out for them where I split it. So we've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't get hung up on the Zodiac signs though. That's what I was going to say. Um, it's really not so much about the Zodiac signs. It's about the energies that they carry. The Queen of Cups is someone who's usually very nurturing, very kind, very loving, usually a very good mother, a good wife or husband, partner. Um, this King of Wands is someone who's very physically active, someone who's very intelligent um, with this King of Swords energy behind it as well. Someone who's very mm, logically minded, um, someone who's very, like I said, physically active, usually very attractive, very charismatic. Um, this Queen of Wands over here, that's um, someone and this Empress energy. Wow. That's someone who's very beautiful, someone who's very attractive, alluring, someone who's very fun to be around, funny. Their jokes are funny. They're very popular. They're very well liked. Um, with this Empress energy, though, this says that this person may be a little bit older. They may have been through quite a bit in their life. They're seasoned is what I'm hearing, seasoned. have the four of wands out there again this whoever this person is this this masculine energy is they are um attracted toward a new pathway in their life and again that four of wands is that twin flame 1111 card it goes right on top of that ace of cups where somebody says i see something that makes sense for me i see something that i want and i'm not i don't I don't really think that you should up and leave a relationship just because you see something else that you want. Why is this person making this choice? They have been really struggling to make this decision. I've got the two of swords on top of the two of swords, but this time it comes out in the reverse. They're struggling right now in this family dynamic. They want to pull everyone close because they sense some kind of disruption, I think. Their children are very important to them. <coughs> Excuse me. Aye. Um, so there's been some third party interference um, in this King of Wands, Swords, Queen of Swords relationship. Um, I'm seeing both sides. Oh boy. And for whatever reason, this masculine energy says, I want something healthier for myself. I don't want to keep having these third party situations in our relationship. Something needs to change. I And I feel like We've kind of turned over every stone here, but I have this death card, that's Scorpio energy. Somebody may be traveling right now or getting ready to move house. Somebody here is getting ready for a brand new beginning, um, possibly leading to a marriage and another commitment. So this is a masculine that's kind of jumping out of one frying pan and into the fire over here as far as relationships go. I still, like I understand that and, okay, hold on. I, I guess that's it. I guess there's just been a lot of pain that's passed between you guys and a lot of suppression, mental health challenges possibly as well. Someone here is like determined to assert their independence. You get a lot of repeat cards out here, guys. Very good job. Um, 
This masculine may feel like their life is kind of spiraling out of control in some way. And so they think taking themselves out of that relationship will help them. I'm hearing half-baked idea. This is something that they've wanted to do for a long time is what they said. They feel like they're ready for the new beginning and they're ready for this tower to fall. Um, they're ready to acknowledge some of these toxicities within themselves and also in all of their relationships. Wow, all of the relationships that they've experienced in their lives. They're admitting to some kind of addiction here or some kind of toxic traits. There's the King of Swords again. And there's a lot of arguing right now in this household. Fair enough. Um, tell me about this Queen of Swords up here. They might be an Aquarius. This Queen of Swords sees the truth as well. And that might be why they're the most upset is because they may have let they may have let this go on so much longer that now it's it's so long that it's beyond repair. Like, can we even still be friends? And again, temperance energy, Sagittarius season. That's what this is the season we're in right now. Um, it feels like both of these people have seen what they need to see and they're ready for healing to take place. That's very good. Um, this masculine finally feels like they have enough income to support themselves. And they feel successful in that. There's a change coming. There's the tower again, Scorpionic energy. And the death card right under it, again, Scorpio energy. And there is the emperor. And the hierophant again. It feels like um, things are changing rapidly and it's this masculine's choice to change them. It feels like they finally feel confident enough in themselves to make that change and make that choice. And it feels like they believe that this change and this choice is going to rebalance them. What about this Queen of Wands energy over here? This Empress Queen of Wands energy. Shoot. Um, there's a lot of arguing over that Queen of Wands. Somebody's arguing about them. Right place, right time. It feels like it's only a matter of time is what I'm hearing. I have the King of Wands on top of the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands again. This Queen of Wands is saying... Oh, man. They're very accepting of this emperor energy. We're just referred to them as emperor empress from now on. How about that? This empress is very accepting of this emperor. And they want them. And they want what's right. For some reason, this empress believes they deserve that emperor. Wow, this is pretty blunt, whoever you are. I mean, I usually try to sugarcoat it a little bit more than this. There's about to be a very difficult conversation. Yikes. Um, whoever this empress is, they're very much on guard. They also have suppressed a lot of their emotions and their feelings. Pro oh, I'm hearing like for years and years and years and years. Interesting. It feels like... Everyone in this dynamic, because this is a real big old mess on the table, feels like everyone in this dynamic has really been through it. Nobody wins here, really. Nobody wins, nobody loses. There's just an awful lot of healing that comes from these choices. Somebody, well, okay, fair enough. Somebody does win and somebody does lose. Somebody walks away from something. But when you really look at love and you really look at what it is, you don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you. That's not actually love. Um... And you don't want to force someone to love you when it's not 
genuine. I just saw 1505 on the counter. Um, and you don't want to accept love that isn't real love. So in this case, when all of these puzzle pieces get moved into the pre their proper positions, everybody does win, I suppose. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius season again. There's going to be an ending here. And it's not going to be easy for anyone. However, it works out in the end and it works out very beautifully. Um, if this was your reading, hang in there. If you're this Queen of Swords energy, I get it. I see you're upset. If you're this King of, or this Emperor energy over here, it feels like you've thought about it as long as you feel like you need to think about it. And you feel like very motivated towards this choice if you are this empress energy over here it feels like you feel like you deserve this and you want it so there you have it all right that was your reading for today thanks for letting me read your cards for you don't forget to like and subscribe Mwah to you all